the death of Abu Bakr al-Baghdadi, who declared himself in 2014, July 2014, as the head of ISIS as a caliph, and that the Muslim world should establish a caliphate. And their territorial uh, governance began to grow, not just in Syria and Iraq, but with affiliates around the world uh, who were governing as part of this ISIS caliphate. Remember, uh, it was in July, the same month that the caliphate was declared by Abu Bakr al-Baghdadi, that President Obama referred to them as the JV squad. Said, you know, you don't just put on a Lakers jersey and become a Laker. Well, uh, totally mis miscalculated what ISIS would become, the brutality that they would inflict on not just uh, Syrians and Iraqis, not just on Muslims and the Christian minorities, Yazidis and others in the region, but the terrorist attacks they would uh, uh, that would occur around the world, as well as the ISIS-inspired attacks around the world. I mean, you can't even go through all of them in a single broadcast. Now, the caliphate, as Lindsey Graham said, rules of engagement were changed, and the caliphate was destroyed by President Trump and the U.S. military, but based off President Trump's orders, on December of 2018. Since then, people like Abu Bakr al-Baghdadi have been in hiding. Really, he was in hiding since he gave that speech announcing the caliphate, but they went into extreme hiding uh, and have been tracked as a number one priority uh, to be uh, either uh, captured or killed. And in this case, it appeared in all likelihood it would have to be a kill mission. Uh, but understand who we're talking about here. This is a man who carried out beheadings, crucifixions, killed children, women, burned people alive, uh, all these public executions. Uh, this was the most brutal terror group we have seen in modern times. Terrorists who oppress and murder innocent people should never sleep soundly, knowing that we will completely destroy them. These savage monsters will not escape their fate, and they will not escape the final judgment of God. Let's remember, not just the thousands, tens of thousands, if not hundreds of thousands, who were killed, maimed, and displaced by ISIS. The thousands, tens of thousands of women raped and killed by ISIS. The children raped, killed, even crucified by ISIS. The beheadings uh, because of their faith, because of a different, because of an accusation of uh, even their sexuality, uh, because they would not convert uh, to Islam or they would not join the Islamic State. And let's not forget the Americans that we know were brutally killed by ISIS. Chief Warrant Officer Jonathan Farmer, Stephen Joel Sotloff, James Foley, and Kayla Mueller. You know, Kayla Mueller, who was initially a slave brought uh, captured as a slave to Abu Bakr al-Baghdadi uh, and ultimately killed. I uh, don't have all of those details there, um, but this mission was named after her. It was Operation Mueller. I just think it's marvelous that they were able to do this, and they train for this type of thing all the time. Delta Force and the Special Forces Rangers, SEALs, all of these people in all of our armed forces trained to do this. You know, this was one of the most brutal persons uh, living in the world today. And even the fellow Muslims were turning on him because he was so brutal. The, uh, it's, it's amazing when you have a group like Al-Qaeda that turns on him because he was too brutal. And that's exactly what he was. The significance, I think, is, is pretty important. First, uh, he had proclaimed himself to be the caliph. That's God's representative on earth. And uh, he just uh, got killed. So uh, I think that takes away the legitimacy of those who may have followed him. I think there will be a reaction by some of his followers, but at the same time, uh, we have established once again that he was not the caliph. He did not enjoy God's favor, uh, or else he would have been able to accomplish what he wanted. So I think this is significant. Uh, there's going to be probably a couple of reactions around the yeah. world where people uh, come back, but I think. Uh, for the long term, I think it's, it's a significant step.